How would you like to win at craps with very little money? Maybe you're a low roller or a beginner, or maybe you only have $100 left and you still have a full day left in Vegas. Well, in this strategy, I show you what to do. Today's video is a strategy that I posted almost exactly two years ago today. Now, it has been my most popular strategy by far. I'm not exactly sure why, but it has over 400,000 views. And this strategy is called the 6-8 hedge. Real simple strategy, you're gonna start with a $10 don't pass for the come out roll. After a point has been established, you're gonna place the six and eight for $6 each or one unit. So this is obviously a $5 table. On the come out roll, if you see a craps number two or three, you're gonna win $10. If you see a 12, it's bar 12, so that's just a push. With this strategy, you're gonna lose with a seven or 11 on the come out roll. Unfortunately, that's the most common number to be rolled, but you only have to face it for one roll. Once a point has been established, you're no longer afraid of a seven, actually it'll help you out. So if a seven does roll, you would lose your place bets. So we have $12 up here, but you'd win on the don't. So you're really only out $2. So with this strategy, you're hoping to hit some six and eights before that seven rolls. There's really so many different ways that you can play it at this point. You can just stay on the six and eight and keep winning those, or maybe you press them up, or maybe you press them up a couple times and then bring them down, or maybe you spread them out to other numbers with a couple hits on the, on the winnings. So what I think I'll do today is with each hit, I'm going to spread out a little bit further out onto the five and nine, so I have all four of the inside numbers covered. At that point, I'll try to collect some and get my initial investment back, and then after that, it's, I'm gonna just press it and collect and see what happens from that point on. All right, here we go, $100 at a $5 table. And actually, you know what? I just got some dice in the mail from Let It Roll. He's a friend of mine. So let's go ahead and use these. Let's see, where are these from? They're canceled dice from, okay, they're Bronco Billy dice. So why not? We'll give it a try. So they do have a punch on them. They should have, yeah, they're, so these dice have been voided out. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if they'll bring us some luck. So we'll go ahead and get $10. If you haven't seen his channel, check definitely check out his channel. All right, here we go, let's let it roll. And five, five's the point, I'll mark the five. At this point, I'll drop $15 down to the dealer and ask him to place the six and the eight. And we'll get $3 and change back. And here we go. Let's see some six and eights. There's an eight, eight hard. So that eight's gonna pay seven. And like I said, we're gonna spread out first. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the nine and just collect $2. A little more aggressive. And there's that nine, it paid off. Nine's gonna pay seven. And I'm gonna get, well, we already have the five kind of covered. I could place it to hedge it, or I'd cover another number. Um, we'll just roll with it with these three numbers. What do you say? So we'll go ahead and collect that. And here we go. And seven, seven out. So we're gonna lose this up here, but we're gonna win $10 for the don't. Buck's gonna come off. And uh, we'll just rack that up as winning. So real close there. All right, new shooter coming out. Here we go. And it's gonna be a five, right back on that five for the point. Again, place the six and eight. We have some change here, so we'll drop the dealer proper change. We're set up and ready to go. Let's see some six and eight. There's a 10, 10 hard. And there's that six, great. Six will pay seven, let's get the nine covered and we'll just collect two. Six through nine, let's see it. There's an eight. Again, that's gonna pay seven. We've got our numbers covered. We'll collect one more time and then after that we'll just start, maybe we'll start pressing these numbers up. And there's 11, yo. And back to back, yo's. And there's a six. Six is gonna be set pace, not six. Six is gonna pay seven. We're gonna go ahead and ask the dealer to press us up. We're just gonna collect one chip this time. But now we've got a good bet on the six. 
See if we can continue to see it. Nope, we got a nine, that's fine. Nine's gonna pay seven. Again, we're gonna be a little aggressive. Only collect two. We've got our money back for the shooter, so we don't care. And there's an eight. So I'm getting everything pressed up. Six will pay seven. Again, we'll just collect one and press it up. So I got everything pressed up to two units. At this point, let's just hit and collect a little bit. There's the fives. That's what we didn't want to see. Fives are point, which means we're going to lose on the don't. But comes off. Now it's really up to you. You could put another don't pass, but again, you have to go through and avoid that seven, which is the most obvious number to show or most common number to show. And then it's just creates a $10 hedge. So in this case, I don't see any point in playing it. Uh, I'm just going to get a point established and then let my, it is the same shooter. And then I'll let him see if he can hit some of these numbers. So here we go, coming out. And the point is going to be 10, 10 the point. Although if we did bet a don't pass, this would have been a pretty good number for the don't. Four and 10 is what you're hoping for. All right, let's see that six through nine. Here we go. And it's going to be a four, four hard. And 10, we hit our point. Good thing we didn't have that don't pass. That's all right, same shooter coming out. And his new point's gonna be a nine. And we're just gonna go ahead and leave that right there on that nine. There we go, let's see if the shooter can hit his point. And it's gonna be an eight. Remember we have a $14 bet, sorry, $12 bet. We're gonna win 14. Let's go ahead and do one for 15. We'll drop the dealer one and get 15. So this time we're gonna, we're gonna collect a couple times and then we'll go ahead and press it up again. And there's the six. 12 is gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. Kind of making our money here. And there's the 10. And there's the nine, we hit our point. In this case, our place bet is gonna pay 14, 10 for 14. Again, we're gonna drop the dealer one for 15. Go ahead and rack that up. So we've hit all our numbers. Now I'll probably start pressing or actually we'll spread out to the five first. Maybe I'll do that now. Ask the dealer to move this over to the five and uh, then I'll start pressing the numbers. Here we go, coming out. And seven on the come out. We don't care about that at this point in the game. Yo 11, still looking for a point. And the point's gonna be six, six hard. We like our place bet right there. So five through nine, here we go. And there's an eight. Eight's gonna pay 14. Sorry, the, the eight, this $12 is gonna pay 14. And this time, let's maybe get the five and nine pressed up to two units, so everything's two units. We'll just collect $4 there. Again, it's really however you want to um, press them up or you know, maybe at this point you wanna regress them down. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. I feel like a long roll's coming here maybe. There's the eight. 12 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna drop the dealer one for 15. And I'll maybe collect this time. Maybe I'll start alternating collecting and pressing. And up against the wall, what do we have here? Yo 11. And there's an eight. Looks like the eight's hot. So 12 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna go ahead and press this sucker all the way up to 24. Just collect $2. Here we go. And it's gonna be a five. Need to get some more ones. This $10 is gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and do one for 15, we're gonna collect this time. We're gonna press, so we're alternating, pressing and collecting. And there's a two aces. Dice off the table, no roll. I'm not superstitious, are you? And we've got a nine. 10, it's gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and do one. For 15, and let's go ahead and press the uh, five and nine up. One more unit. 
We'll just collect five bucks there. And there's the five. 15 is going to pay 21. Now, a lot of people might, uh, they say, hey, I got a lot of money on the table. I want to pull it down. That's really up to you. For me, kind of my philosophy is once I've collected my initial investment, I'm going to keep pressing. Um, sure, the roll may end, but I don't want to be on the sidelines when the roll keeps going. But a great option is to kind of pull half of it down. I mean, we've got a pretty good score up here. So here we go. Still looking for that six. There's the four. And there's that six. So we hit our point. We collected last time. This 12 is going to pay 14. And again, we're going to go ahead and press this sucker up to 24. Go ahead and rack these $2. Go ahead and look for a new point. And the point is going to be nine. Nine's the point. All right, let's see an inside number. Here we go. And four, four outside. Let's move it inside a little bit more. There's the four again, back to back fours. And there's the nine, hit our point. 15 is going to pay 21. Puck's going to come off. We'll go ahead and rack that up. We're in a very good roll here. It will not always go that way, but it is going that way for me tonight. Makes up for my last video where it was just just terrible so we're right back on that nine and there's the three and an eight 24 is going to pay 28 and i'm going to do something a little bit different i'm going ahead and going to regress everything down um, maybe just to two units so we'll ask the dealer bring us down to two units on everything so we're going to collect a good amount here. So we'll go ahead and rack an additional 30 some dollars. I got so much winnings, I'm going to have to move them to this back rack here. There we go. So I collected some and um, now maybe I'll start building them back up. Here we go. There's the eight again. 12 is going to pay 14. Let's go ahead and do one for 15. We'll rack this time and then so we'll keep alternating, racking and pressing. And there's the nine point hit. Running out of fives. Ten dollars is going to pay 14. So we'll go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. And we said we were going to press, weren't, didn't we? So um Let's go ahead and press the five and nine. Why not? Puck's gonna come off, we hit it. These are currently off. We're looking for a new come out roll. And the point's gonna be six, six is the point. So we got three units and two units. And two aces in both places. And there's that nine. 15 is gonna pay 21. Let's go ahead and drop the dealer $3 and ask him to press it all the way up. So we're going to take these bets to 24 each or four units. So four units and then we got three units here. Here we go. Let's see that six and six, six hard. Tonight is my lucky night. 24 is going to pay 28. Press last time. We'll rack it this time. Oh, we did hit our points. The puck's going to come off. These guys are off. And the new, nope, seven. Seven on the come out. This is perfect timing for the seven. Another seven. We don't mind as a place better when they're off. There's three, three craps. And yo, 11. Can't even get off the come out roll. And wow, another seven. Maybe we're getting all of our sevens out of the way. Eight, eight hard. Eight's gonna be the new point. And it had to end at some point. Seven, seven out. Again, this is a lot of money that we left on the table, but 
but I don't care. I racked a pretty good amount. Buck's gonna come off. So we're gonna have a new shooter. Now that's the way, that's the best case scenario. Now let's, maybe we'll see what happens in a worst case scenario. Not that I'm rooting for that, but I do wanna show you how all the different variations, no strategy is gonna always win. So point's gonna be 10, we like that for a don't pass. We'll go ahead and drop the dealer 12 to get the six and the eight placed. And okay, so worst case scenario is we would roll a 10, we'd lose our don't, and then, and then uh, once a new point was established, we'd roll a seven and then lose these. But maximum we're looking at is $22. All right, here we go. And it's gonna be a five, that doesn't help us. The only thing that helps us at this stage of the game is the six and eight. And it's gonna be seven, seven out. So again, we lose our place bets of $12, but win on the don't for 10, so we only lose $2. Not that big of a deal for a very short roll. So we can go ahead and rack that up. We'll stay right there on the don't for the new shooter. I'm surprised these are retired. I mean, they're very sharp. It's like they haven't even been used. Maybe they weren't used and they just punched them and sold them or whatever. All right, here we go. And seven on the come out. So that's no good for us as a don't player. So we're gonna lose at $10. And it's up to you. You can, you know, keep chasing on the shooter or, um, you know, wait. We're gonna follow it up. Same shooter coming out. Three, three craps. Crap number is good for us. We just win our money right back. So we'll just put that right back. And nine, my dice rolled there, but nine's gonna be the point. Go ahead and drop the dealer $12, get the six and eight placed. Here we go, let's see that six and eight. Five, no field five. There's the nine, point of nine. So we lose our don't pass. Not what we like to see. Puck's gonna come off. These bets are off. Looking for a new come out. Again, you can always chase it with more don't comes. If it's the same shooter, I'm not gonna do that. Point's gonna be 10. Now I'm just hoping for that six and eight. And six, six hard. Six is gonna pay seven. Again, I'm gonna be aggressive and try to spread out on the numbers first. Just collect $2. And six again. It's gonna pay seven. I'm gonna get the nine covered. And now I'm gonna try and collect and get my money back. But it's not gonna happen. Seven, seven out. So what do we lose? $22 and we won four. So, you know, out 18 or so. Buck's gonna come off. We got a little more to play with. We've got a new shooter. Let's go ahead and get down for the don't pass. All right, here we go, coming out. And we've got a, it's up in there tight, but it's gonna be a six, six is the point. So even if it's the point, I'm gonna go ahead and place it. Oh, I could just use this money here. Which isn't a bad place to be in, because if you do roll the six, sure, you lose your don't here of $10, but you get paid seven, so you only lose $3. And if you roll a seven, you'd lose 12, but win 10, you're out $2. So worst case scenario, you're out two to $3. The only problem is you really only have a bet on one number. So maybe uh, you, you're, hoop, you're rooting for the seven, or maybe you go ahead and invest a little bit more and cover one more additional number. So I got the eight and nine I'm looking for, and it's that six. So the six is gonna lose here on the don't. The six is gonna pay seven, so we lost $3 there. Puck's gonna come off. But that's not the end of the world. So we're gonna look for a new point, and then we got three numbers covered. New point's gonna be four. Here we go. And three, three creps. And there's the nine. That's gonna pay seven. Again, I'm gonna try and be a little aggressive and get all the numbers covered first, and then I'm gonna start 
collecting and trying to recoup at my investment. Three craps. And there's the five. Five will pay seven. I'm just going to collect that. Again, I'm in recoup mode. I want to get at least my $20 back. There's the nine. Five will pay seven. One more hit here. Four, four hard. Point hit, puck's gonna come off. These bets are off. Looking for a new point, and it's gonna be right back on that four. All right, shooter inside number, here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. And there's the nine. We're gonna collect. So we've recouped our money, and at this point I'll probably start pressing and hoping for a long roll. My dice rolled there, but it is a six. That's gonna pay seven. We'll go ahead and press that six up. Collect only one dollar. And that's why we do it. There's that six. 12 is gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. And uh, do we wanna press? No, we'll collect this time. We'll alternate. And there's the six, 12, pay 14. Let's go ahead and press the six and eight, both up one unit. So we got three units, two units, one and one. We're just gonna collect $2. Here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. And there's the 10. Three, three craps. And there's a six, six hard. 18 is gonna pay 21. I'm gonna go ahead and ask the dealer to press up by five and nine. So I got two units, two units, three units. And we're gonna rack 11 with that hit. Here we go. More inside numbers. There's a five, great. 10 is going to pay 14. We'll go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. Another pretty good roll we got going here. And there's the four. That's the point hit. Putt comes off. We're not playing the point, so we don't care. And seven on the come out. Doesn't affect us. There's a six. Six is our new point. And here we go. Yo, 11. Three, three craps. My dice rolled there. And there's the five, good hit. It's gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. And uh, we're just gonna rack it this time. And you know what, this roll has been going on so long. Dealer, take me down to one unit on everything. No problem. Maybe it's a gut feeling, maybe, you know, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with this. It's a little more conservative. You're not gonna hit the big wins of keep pressing up, but I've racked some, and if the roll is that long, I could still press these guys up. All right, here we go. Let's go, shooter. There's the six, point hit. Six will pay seven. Go ahead and collect that first one. Puck is off, looking for a new come out, and it's gonna be an eight. My dice rolled again. So that's our point, and here we go. There's the four, four on the end. And we got a three, three craps. There is an eight, eight point hit. It's gonna pay seven, we're gonna go ahead and press that number up. That is our point hit, so we'll go ahead and collect $1, and we're looking for a new come out roll. And seven, we're shooting the sevens just at the right time. 10, 10 hard, 10's gonna be the point. You know, just, 
it's funny that I think about things like this. It, I've had a couple long rolls, which means there's going to be a lot of editing with the numbers and stuff like that down the side. But that is another reason why I wanted to redo this video, um, just so I can have all the numbers uh, for it. So, yeah, here we go. See some inside numbers. And it's going to be a nine. Dice rolled there to an ugly number, but it was a nine. I ran out of ones here. Five will pay seven. I think we... Um, that was a bug. I don't know where it came from, but I flicked off a bug. So where was I at? I think we pressed last time. You know what? Let's press the six. We hit the nine, but we're going to press the six. I always like to press from the inside out. Let's see what happens here. Ten. Ten hard. That's the point hit. Coming out. Heck of a roll. 12, midnight, no good for us. Still looking for a point. And back-to-back -back 12s. Parlay that 12 and pretty good money. Point's going to be 10 again. 10 down on the end. Here we go. Looking for an inside number. And right back on that 10. My dice rolled, but we was point hit. These are off. I'm getting tired of waiting, so I'm going to turn all my inside bets on. See what happens here. It's going to be a 9. Uh, sorry, my dice keep rolling there. Nine's the point. These bets were on, so that is going to get paid seven. So I'll go ahead and rack that up. Don't need the marker anymore because this lets us know that our place bets are on. And ten. Ten hard, of course. And seven. Seven out. And I think this video has been going long, long enough. I had a couple very good rolls. I got it to a chance to show you what a short roll looks like. You don't get hurt too bad on this. So a lot different than my first video. I think I was up maybe $20 or down a few dollars or whatever. So typically, um, this is a very middling game. If you want to stay at the table for a very long time, this is a pretty good strategy for that. But you do get on a hot roll and you can obviously cover up, color up. So. You know, whether you like this strategy or a variation of it or some other completely different strategy, when you're heading out to the casinos, good luck on coloring up.